the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of the walking dead i believe this is the season one finale if i'm not mistaken normally you know american tv shows have their first season because it's a test season have run to run like less than 10 episodes i know for the office it had like six episodes so i believe this is the season finale all right uh even though we just started i feel like a lot of shit has happened in these past five episodes i mean goddamn a zombie apocalypse a sheriff a camp a racist asshole uh, a crossbow uh, a few deaths here and there an older sister killing a younger sister and uh, jimbo did i sum it up that's just about it yeah we lost jimbo man even though he was kind of a, you know, a little cuckoo uh, uh, for Cocoa Puffs, he, um, you know, he's actually a pretty cool dude. But uh, we lost him. So that kind of sucks. Uh, and I believe our crew is at the CDC where we saw a dude conducting experiments who unfortunately fucked up and now doesn't have any experiment to experiment. Yikes. And he legit, he, he literally said, tomorrow I'm going to kill myself. So there's no hope. <laughs> All hope is gone. Okay. Um, luckily, he did open the doors for our group. So now I guess they're going to have, for the time being, a place to sleep. He probably has some extra food. He definitely has some showers over there because he has like a decontamination center or whatever the fuck. So that's nice. They'll have like maybe a bed. That'll be cool. But um, this dude that they're about to meet isn't in isn't necessarily in the best of mindsets because he just, I mean, he was the one that was supposed to solve everything, right? He's not the only one in the world. Sure, I'm aware of that, but um, he was the one nearby. So that information is probably gonna, you know, fuck the morale of the group. Um, but I, again, at least we'll have a place to chill out for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So that'll be nice, right? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe, uh, you know, uh, once we head out of here, Fort Bedding was the suggestion that they made. So we'll, we'll go there. Uh, they, uh, they said it was like 100 miles out, which, um, you know, it's fine. It's, it's like, a, what is that? It's like a, you know, two hour car ride at most um, for normal. But I guess in a zombie apocalypse, it could take like a whole day to get there, I imagine. Um, but also the, the, the place is swarming with walkers. So... Um, I mean, shit, I say bunker down for as long as you can here, you know, uh, and then we add this guy to the group. He, he could actually, you know, what? fuck it. He, he's our scientist. If we add this guy to the group, he's our scientist. That's useful. And I mean, science, uh, I, I don't know how much science Dell dives into being a doctor, but I'm sure he could learn it. He's a smart ass dude. Right. So, um, this is actually really good for us. We, we bunker down here for a bit, you know, catch up learn learn each other's backstories and whatnot add this dude to the group oops sorry about that go to fort benning and then continue the mission i don't know what the mission is but whatever whatever right cool anyway that's where we are in the current walking dead so let's go ahead and watch the season finale of season one shall we before we do though of course if y'all want early access to these reactions you can go ahead and click that join button down below in the description if you want to uh, and if you want early access and full versions of these reactions, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link down below. Become a Patreon member. Whatever you want to do, either or. Uh, if you want to join our community, you can hit up our Discord server, which is also linked down below in the description. All right. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Season 1, Episode 6 of The Walking Dead finale. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Fuck. 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 <laughs> that was gruesome. They just killed a bunch of people because they may or may not have been bitten. Dude, what do you do? Wow. So that's what kept Rick alive? A fucking hospital bed? Uh, damn. 
But a tanky hospital bed. <laughs> I mean, shit. Also, isn't it pretty easy to roll those things? It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. Okay. Well, so here's the thing. Shane. I mean, if, if he would have carried Rick out with him, they both would have probably died. So I can, I can see his way of thinking there. Yes, there is a chance that both of them could have gotten away. But it was a much lower chance because it's a whole goddamn grown ass man's body. All right. And Shane did protect him by using the hospital bed. Um, now, the problem is Shane assumed he was dead. And he told Lori that. Right? He didn't tell her that there's a possibility he could have been alive because you know, he was protected in that hospital room. You know what I mean? So it all just comes down to what Shane's intentions were. If his intention was to get down with Lori and to, you know, to, to, to get to become Carl's dad, then that's fucked up. But I don't think it was fully there. I think for, for, from what I can tell, it was probably a little bit of that. But it's also, he, he clearly cares about Rick, too. It's fucked up. Messed up situation. Again, I cannot wait for that drama to blow up <laughs> in both of their faces. <laughs> That's going to be the day. That's going to be the 1v1 of the century right there. <clears throat> um, okay, nice. So we got that little backstory. That's cool. I uh, know. You all submit to a blood test. That's the price of admission. We can do that. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Cool. Good. That, that's a good dude. He let us in. He could have let us out. He could have let us out there to die. Kept all the food to himself. Killed himself the next day. I don't know, but he let us in. It's a good dude. You okay? She hasn't eaten in days. None of us have. <laughs> oh damn wine and dine that must feel amazing in the apocalypse yeah this dude's a nice dude damn it shane time and a place brother i get his way of thinking but he could have read the room a little bit every last one no many couldn't face walking out the door they opted out there was a rash of suicide oh shit oh my god that's fucked they just gave up damn agreed shane wait till later or some shit dude why the fuck did he ask that during a fun-ass dinner <laughs> yeah 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 there you go t-dog damn i don't know what that feels like yeah. Imagine not showering for like a month. They're they all stink. So good for them. <laughs> but jeez. Bro, I feel like Shane's a ticking time bomb. And he's drinking in the shower, all look looking all pissed and shit. He feels like a ticking time bomb to me. I mean the whole Lori Rick situation shit. He's he has to see that every day too. I did, okay. Do you know what it was like there? Oh, Things were falling apart. They were slaughtering people in the hallways. It was a massacre. And there were walkers everywhere. Yeah, so you left him. Everybody else ran. There were no doctors there. It was just me. He was hooked up to machines, and I did not know what to do. No, I love you. No, no, you don't. no you don't. I knew it. I mean, he definitely acted like he did. Because there's no way that you could have been there. The way that you were. Shane, just Shane. Stop. Listen. Shane. You love me too. Shane, bro, what are you doing? Oh no, this is not good, brother. Oh no. Oh no, Shane. Oh, scratch. He had me in the first half. I was feeling him in the first half because everything he was saying, you know, he was saying from the from the heart, right? Like he could he didn't he didn't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. then he went on and did that at the end. Damn it, Shane. <laughs> he was drunk. But that's never an excuse. We don't have to be afraid anymore. 
Dude, honestly, I feel like if Rick finds out, I feel like he's not even going to trip. He seems like one of those dudes. Not like a cuck or anything, but I don't know. I just feel like he's not going to trip. He's going to understand. The thing that makes you That's so cool. And human. Damn, bro. Make sense ever? Those are synapses. Electric impulses in the brain that carry all the messages. They determine everything a person says, does, or thinks from the moment of birth to the moment of death. All that is pretty fascinating, isn't it? And it's the... <laughs> that sounds so complicated. Whose idea was it to make humans? <laughs> what were they on? What is that? It invades the brain like meningitis. The adrenal glands hemorrhage. The brain goes into shutdown, then the major organs. Oh my god. Then death. Oh my god. So it's like, it's like a cancer, dude. Fuck. Get them up and moving. But they're not alive. You tell me. It's nothing like before. Most of that brain is dark. Dark, lifeless, dead. The frontal lobes, the neocortex, the human part, that doesn't come back. The you part. What the fuck? So just motor function. So that's all they get, motor function? And I guess, kind of, uh... I mean, the zombies can live with just their head alive, right? That's what we just saw that, so... They gain that as well, I don't fuck. The basement generators, they run out of fuel. And then? Vi, what happens when the power runs out? When the power runs out, facility-wide decontamination will occur. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. The last time we saw decontamination in this place, there were... there was an explosion. So what, self-destruct? Oh no. Fuck. Well, we got an hour. Stayed in the labs till the end. They thought they were close to a solution. What happened? Same thing that's happening here. No power grid. Ran out of juice. Shit. The world runs on fossil fuel. I mean, how stupid is that? That's the point. They can't come up with a cure because they don't have enough power. Because the fucking zombies are running around everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> that's crazy. He just locked us in? He just locked us in! We hit the 30 minute window. I am recording. Carl! Mama! Son of a bitch! Shay! You locked us in! No, stop hey, there! Hey, you no, 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 wait, wait, Dude. Wait. What? He can't just lock us in here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How do we get out? What happens? Come on! You minutes. know what this place is? We protected the public from very nasty stuff! Weaponized smallpox! Ebola strains that can wipe out half the country! Stuff you don't want getting out, ever! Jesus. Jesus. ...that produces a blast wave of significantly greater power and duration than any other known explosive except nuclear. The vacuum Bruh. pressure effect ignites the oxygen between 5,000 and 6,000 degrees and is useful where the greatest loss of life and damage to structures is desired. Bruh. It sets the air on fire. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Oh my God. The show. What the fuck? This is not the way you do this. We'll never get out of here. Shane, you listen to him. When he dies, we all die. We all die. Oh my god. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> I take that back. Shane is more uh, loose than uh, Daryl. Also, that was definitely the Punisher <laughs> right there. About this. Not me. Your wife didn't have a choice. You do. That's that's all we want. A choice. A chance. Let us keep trying as long as we can. 
Yeah, he has no right to keep their hands in his in his hand like that. That's pretty fucked up that he even thought that in the first place. There's your chance. Take it. I'm grateful. The day will come when you won't be. Okay, pessimism. Okay. What are you whispering in his ear? No, don't do this fucking thing. I hate when they do this shit. In fucking shows. What did he whisper in his ear? The cure to everything? Probably not. God damn it. Just get out. Get out. No. Why? Let's go. It's her decision. I'm staying too. Fuck. Andrew, no. That one makes sense though. Cause her sister. It's like she has nothing left. Jeez. The situation. What? Oh my god, everyone's scrambling. Oh, what? She, she's been. Oh, come on, guys. He's right. We know what's waiting for us out there. I don't want to face it alone. Do you? Get the hell out. I don't want you here. Too bad. You don't get to do that. To, to come into somebody's life, make them care, and then just check out. Fuck. Oh. No! Get your asses up, guys! What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, no. Dale. <laughs> I like Dale a lot. I need his talk no jutsu in the future. Thank God. I mean, it sucks because other girl wanted to stay, which really sucks, but she made her decision and she, se she seems at peace with it, you know, judging from her eyes. Wow. All right, we still got Dale and Andrea. That's good. We need to keep our people, man. Decent CGI explosion. Meh. <laughs> That's crazy. The air turns into fire. So your first breath is just fire then. Once that activates, that's wild. He isn't only if my own true love is waiting. There it is. Season finale. Okay. Well, what better way to end off a season finale than with a bang? Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so, um, we lost another one. That sucks. I was hoping we would keep, I was hoping we would keep our crew and add the doctor to our crew because he would have been very useful. Smart guy. Right? He could have been our scientist, learned to be a doctor, made medicine for us and shit like that, made like other contraptions. I don't know. Um, but he, yeah, he didn't, um, he didn't want to stay anymore, which is understandable. Everyone, those two made their decision and we can respect that. And, uh, yeah. Damn, air turns into fire. That is an interesting way to blow shit up. Whoa. Um, that whole Dale Andrea scene was pretty heavy. Right? Andrea was ready to kill herself. Dale said, fine, me too. You're the only thing that matters to me anyway. I mean, in a way that's a little, you know, I don't, in, even if he was not making a play, that's like he put like the pressure on Andrea and life or death is, is 
it's a pretty serious thing <laughs> to put pressure on. So, um, even though I'm glad they're both alive, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Dale was definitely being a bit selfish there. Um, but hey, he saved her life, so that's, that's good. That's good, right? So, um, damn. I mean, honestly, that, oh yeah, I almost forgot. So we got a pretty much a whole science lesson on the whole walker thing. So pretty much it just takes over the part of the brain that gives you motor function. And I guess the, um, the sensation to eat maybe all the time. And that's it. You can't, you probably can't think, I guess they can see, they can hear, they can, uh, um, but I guess what makes you human, they can't, they can't have memories anymore. They can't think for themselves. They can't open doors. They probably have no evolution factor whatsoever. They can't get better. They're just, they're just zombies. Okay. Um, straight up. So that little science lesson was cool, but dude, to be honest that this finale episode was probably the episode that had the least things happen, you know? Oh wait, we should talk about the Shane thing. Ooh. See the thing about the Shane and Lori conversation. Um, it, I actually think he did. He was doing well in the first half because he was straight up speaking from the heart. He didn't know whether Rick was alive or not. Right. And in a way he was right. If, if he said the same, if he said that to Lori, I don't know if he's alive. She would have went back to the hospital and she and Carl would have died hundred percent. Okay. hundred percent. Um, so, I mean, Shane was, Shane was, in a way, he was doing the right thing. He got them out. He protected them. He did that. And he said that. Okay. Uh, but then he went into the whole I love you part. And then that's when it started. he started to force his hand on her. And that's when it went to shit. If he just said what he said in the first half and kept his distance and walked away, this whole thing could have been, you know, because that he, he would have got that whole relief off of his chest. He would have still loved her. But I mean, that shit will go away. It goes away, right? <laughs> um, but no, he had to force his hand on her. And that's when, yeah, I don't think that's ever going to be. That relationship is never going to be. They're never going to be friends again. And I don't think he could even he could even look at Carl the same way because he, you know, almost freaking raped her mom or his mom. So um, and again, I said it earlier, I feel like knowing Rick now six episodes in. I honestly feel like once he finds out, cause he's going to find out about, you know, what Lori and Shane have been up to this past, however, however much time, uh, I feel like once he finds out, he's not gonna go crazy. I feel like he's going to think about it and understand, you know, he seems like that kind of guy. That's wild. That's definitely some protagonist shit right there. Not even a cuck, just like super understanding. I feel like, yeah, that, that I feel like that's going to happen when, when we get there. Um, okay. Well, it sucks that we couldn't add the doctor to our team. That would have been a great help. But instead, we lost one. We kind of lost two in a way. And we also lost a place of, you know, if he wasn't going to the, blow the place up, we could have stayed there for like a week or two. Right. But now um, it was a, it was really messed up how the doctor felt like he could just kill everyone in there because it was there's no hope anyway. I didn't, I didn't like that very much. What, who, who, who is he to, to, to judge whether or not they decide to live or die? Like what? That was, that was stupid. Um, but he did let them go in the end. So good on that. Right. So anyway, also, uh, what's her name? I, f I forget her name. Ed's wife. Yeah. Ed's wife. <laughs> I, I remember his name, but I can't remember her name. Um, is she fucking crazy? She fucking kept a grenade in her purse for how long? Huh? Oh my God. But it did help us. We did get out, right? So good shit on that. I'm glad Dale and Andrea are alive. And um, I'm looking forward to where we're going to go next. Fort Benning? Fort Benning, right? That's the idea. I don't believe we have enough gas for that. But um, that's the current goal. That's, that, that's at least the goal that they were talking about. So we can look forward to that. Um, all right, well, hey, I'm looking forward for the second season. Uh, I looked it up, and there's definitely twice as many episodes in the second season, uh, which makes sense because the first season was pretty damn good. That was a very nice introduction to this zombie world, and I'm looking forward to seeing what more characters come up. 
what characters die, what kind of story can come out of this, everyone's growth, character de development. I love me some character development. Hopefully we see some of that. We still don't know where Merle is. Merle's alive somewhere with a fucking van. Um, and of course, you know, the other groups that we may, that we may come in contact with. Some of them are probably going to be friendly, but some of them are probably not. And we're probably going to see some more shootouts, some more fights between actual other humans instead of just zombies. And of course, the whole zombie thing we got to worry about anyway. Uh, and again, um, I do hope there are some zombie evolutions, right? It doesn't seem like there will be. According to the science that was explained, they don't have, they don't really have a chance of ev uh, evolving. Um, but I do hope of, you know, some, some perhaps uh, more difficult zombies to deal with. Because that'd be kind of cool. Right, because that means we have to get better too. We can't just bop him in the head once, twice. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm all in. I love it. I I'm liking it a lot. Uh, I'm already, you know, liking a lot of these characters. I like Rick. He's cool. Uh, I'm liking Glenn. He's cool. Okay. I'm liking Dale. Dale's a old wise man. Says the right things. Um, <clears throat> and I also actually like the two loose cannons too. De uh, Shane and um, Daryl. I like Shane. I think mostly because of the acting behind that character. Obviously, Shane's fucked up. You know, he's he's forced his hand on, on Rick's wife, but the acting is getting me. He's doing a really good job in being like you know naked and afraid in a, in a tough man's body. You know what I'm saying? And Daryl, Daryl's just funny to me. He's he's just he doesn't give a damn. Uh, so I like Daryl. Also, Daryl has a crossbow, which makes him super cool. Um, yeah, looking forward to watching the rest of it with you guys. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Um, that's going to be it for this one. Before I end, though, of course, I've already started on season two. And you can catch them uh, by either becoming a member of this channel, clicking that join button down below, or hitting up the Patreon link, which is also down below in the description. Early, full reactions, whatever you want to do. Um, if you guys want to join our community, you can hit up our Discord server, which is also linked down below in the description. All right. Other than that, I'm out of here. You guys have a good one, and I will see y'all for the next episode of The Walking Dead, season two. Woo!